Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Maximize your CRM capabilities by integrating HubSpot with Salesforce in 2023. This tutorial walks you through the integration process, ensuring a seamless connection between HubSpot and Salesforce for enhanced customer relationship management. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing is obviously heading up to HubSpot and Salesforce at the same time. So here we go. Now we are on this company and you should create an account on both apps. So let's start with Salesforce or HubSpot for now. So click in here, get started for free, and then you will be connected to your account. Very easy and very straightforward. The same goes for uh, Salesforce, you just have to face some kind of questions and your account will be created. Now for HubSpot to connect it with any other app, let's go here to the top, click on settings, and here you'll find integrations on the left side menu. As you can see, integrations, here you'll find connected apps and after that all you need to do is to click on visit app marketplace so click on it and here it is the marketplace here you just have to search for salesforce now just go all the way down here if you want to search for it it will be in the essential apps for marketers and you will find it right here as you can see salesforce app all you need to do next is to install it right through here these are like some kind of uh, guide you will be able to read it but first let's read about the benefits of integrating this tool so Salesforce integration overview. Here's what you will get with the HubSpot app for Salesforce. First, easy to get started. No technical work required. Second, fast app your whole whole team can rely on. Third, be by bi directional synchronization that automatically update changes from one system to another. Fourth, choose which new record synchronized from Hotspot to Salesforce and when. Fifth, automatically send lead data like email opens from submissions, website activity and more. Seventh, send lead scores from Hotspot to Salesforce. Eighth, use details from Salesforce contacts or account in Hotspot. And last not least, send revenue data from closed one opportunities right into HubSpot. So these are like the main features or key features that you will get. And there is other, for example, with all of these features and more, your sales team will be more productive and than ever. With this app, you will empower your sales team with valuable data to help them prioritize their outreach, save time, build more meaningful relationships and close more deals. Plus, HubSpot employs a team of engineers and support staff dedicated to maintain and improving your app so these are like the integration features how it's gonna look for example you're gonna get, get stuff like that you have like analytics graphs even like that you will have everything in detail and for the sales for pricing uh, like the it is for free but if you want to get the premium version you will have to go either with professional or the enterprise which will cost you 75 into 150 on the other side this is how you can connect them both so before you begin expect to switch back and forth between these instructions and salesforce for part of the integration setup and installation process you must have account access permission in your HubSpot account along with the following subscriptions, access and permissions in your Salesforce accounts. So this is very important. You should have a Salesforce edition with API access or Salesforce professional, be a Salesforce system administrator or be assigned to the HubSpot integration permission set. So here is the things that you have to get have all the following from api enabled view setup and configuration enabled modify all on any object have the modify meta metadata permission have the download app exchange package permission have the customized application profile permission and have the task type field be visible to your user profile here we have other stuff of course 
then this is like uh, an images on how you can do it so firstly as i've seen you i've showed you is as the hubspot salesforce integration so in your hubspot account click the marketplace icon in the main navigation bar then select app marketplace so here as you can see it's going to be here and click on it and choose the app marketplace as i have shown you then search of course for salesforce here it is and then download it but as you can see the, you need to upgrade your plan to install this app so i have not get the normal plan i have to get the premium plan which is for the start it's gonna cost you around 20 dollars per uh, year which is uh and here per month it's gonna be 30 dollars so yeah it is basically up to you to choose which one you want it you want to either pay 30 or 20 if you are going to go for the whole year well, what are you going to get exactly? Well, you will get the access to all of these. Marketing Hub Starter will include a thousand marketing contacts. Sales Hub part, uh, Starter includes two paid users. Service Hub Starter includes two paid users. CMS Hub Starter, Operation Hub Starter, and Commerce Hub. And of course, you will be able to download uh, apps and plugins. So this is like the main thing for the uh, HubSpot and the same thing goes for sales pro force it's like it is not like uh, a free thing you should get the premium version so you just have to follow keep going with this that it was this follow this so you just have to log into Salesforce click on next wait for it until it is installed and then add HubSpot to Salesforce as you can see click on next and then uh, review settings you should either choose the recommended or the advanced setup and then you would have to finish it up and begin synchronizing and just like that you have officially connected your HubSpot with Salesforce account successfully. Just put in mind guys that you will be having to pay around $70 at least to connect both apps together at the same time. And if this integration guys didn't help you enough, you can obviously use Zapier. I've made dozens of video about it. So we can here uh, go to apps and connect both apps with Zapier. As an example here, Salesforce, you will be able to find it. And then search for HubSpot, the same thing. You will be able to find it as well. And then create a zap between these two. It can be an integration. It can be whatever you want. Uh, you just have to write it here and it will do the automation for you in a few seconds. It will not take that much time to do it for you guys. So let me show you an example real quick. When something happens in, uh, let's say Salesforce, something else happens in HubSpot and generate and the AI will generate for us the best prompts and we can start using it so yeah guys with that we have arrived for an end to our video thank you guys a lot for watching and if you do have more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section I will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial